Good morning, my friends. Um, um, get ready with me again. As I said yesterday, I'm going to be using Natasha Denona again because um, it's going to be Natasha Denona until I get my own palette. So it's the Yucca palette again. Um, like I said, it did arrive damaged, so I'm getting another one sent out. But I'm always looking for my eyes. Jesus. Um, yeah, so let me see different today. Today I'm going to use my first color will be, this other one is, this is better. I'm going to try that yellow one, see how it goes. See how it goes. Today I'm going to use the Smith's blending brush. It's the biggest one. And it's the 222, I want to say. I can't. 222 or 232. Sorry. These are like dollar 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 store glasses, so I only get dollar uh, I only get a dollar worth of vision. Get what you pay for. So I'm gonna <clears throat> Tap out my access, so my access, 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 access. Um, I do have the fan on, so the ceiling fan, so it blows away. I'm not seeing really much. It's very, very light. Um, there you go. Just a hint of yellow. Again, I have three bitches in here today. Again. Bella, stop it. Bella's chewing on her feet. McFatty, which is Stella, is laying down by the door. And Crybaby, Ella, is right here next to me. I was supposed to um, show you guys them yesterday after the my makeup, and I forgot. Because I run around like a chicken with my head cut off. Where the hell did they ever get that saying from? The chickens, if you cut their head off, do they actually run off? I doubt it. Poor chickens. Alright, then. Then I'm going to go. I have so much shit up here. A little space, lots of stuff. Then I'm gonna go in with my next. Smith brush. And I am going to go in to that. <clears throat> this one here. Bella, can you stop doing that? <clears throat> I have a frog in. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. I wonder who thought of that, who made up that expression. Yeah. So this palette is really for a green orange, a green yellowish lover, who I am. <clears throat> I think they're beautiful flowers, beautiful colors. Hi, my name is Sandra, and I'm an addict to buying palettes. There is no cure. <clears throat> Every time I talk about makeup palettes, my husband's like, ugh. Ugh. They don't understand. He just doesn't understand my obsession with palettes. I'm a collector, I tell him all the time. I told them once when I die, put all my eyeshadow palettes in my coffin with me. I don't want nobody. I don't want your next bitch using them. I don't want him to have the next bitch. Never mind. Have me stuffed and put me in the driver in the passenger seat. If I die before him, I'm coming back to haunt whatever bitch he's trying to get with. Ugh. 
And she better not touch my shit. I will be haunting her ass. Scaring the fuck out of her to shit the fuck out of my house. What if anybody else thinks like me? <clears throat> Crazy girl, I might need help. Then, I'm going to go in with this orange. Bella, please, you're going to eat your feet. i got to give him a bath. I dread having a bath day. Because none of them like it. I'll just get it. Yeah, I'm going to do a smoky eye today. Yeah. Um... They don't like baths, especially Stella. She hates baths. Rocky used to hate baths too, my pit bull. And if he heard me say he's gonna take a shower, he would run and hide. And I'm very um, gentle when I give him a bath. Like I don't throw water on their face. My husband does. I'm like, you're scaring him. When my husband washes them, he's so rough. I mean, he loves them, but he will spill water in her eyes, and I am like a bitch when it comes to water in my eyes, so I, um, I don't do that to them. Not rough, and they don't appreciate it. They don't appreciate me. So when I, whenever I do my makeup, I really don't have like a vision before, like, you know, excuse me. I don't know if anybody else does. Like you start with a, an idea in your brain. I don't, I just sit down and let the palette inspire me, I guess. My granddaughter would say, that makes no sense. I have two granddaughters. I don't know if I mentioned that before. From my oldest daughter. She has two daughters. I don't see them much. Long story. I don't want to get into it. But I don't see them much. The oldest is Aubrey. And she is... What color am I going to go into now? What color am I going to go into? I'm going to bring another color in. I'm going to see if this brown here will darken it at all. A little bit. So yeah, my oldest grandchild is Aubrey. She is um, 12. She's going to be 13. Oh, she's so big already. Um, I haven't seen her since she was um, I think the last time I seen her was in 2018 I believe um, something in that, so, somewhere in that neighborhood uh, her father and my sis, my daughter don't see eye to eye <clears throat> there's a lot of issues going on there and um <clears throat> He has custody. And um, he doesn't like me. So he punishes us and he doesn't let us, let us see her. And I live out of state. I try to get... Um, spent a lot of money on lawyers to try to get visitation. Well, I was going through my daughter, but it, it was just a long story anyway. But um, I spent a lot of money on lawyers and um, it, never, it never amounted to anything. I haven't seen her. And then she has another daughter. Her name is Olivia. And she is three. She also lives with her father. It's a different dad. And he's... He also has custody of her. So obviously the problem is my daughter. I'm not saying that it ain't. But regardless, um, my daughter will always be my daughter. And I love her no matter what. Um, but I don't get to see my grandchildren because the father is, I don't know, 
They, these are the type of fathers that they punish you. By not allowing you to be in their lives. I mean. And she's and she's always getting into these type of relationships with the same type of people. That um, Olivia's father, I don't think he should have Olivia. Because he's, he's got a lot of issues, mental issues. But she gave him custody. The other one, she, she, she gave custody to both fathers actually. And then she just couldn't get it right. The last one, the first one, she gave custody away um, willingly both times. Um, a lot there. Anyway, so this is getting pretty similar to the one I did yesterday. Um, I believe I used the green yesterday on my lid. I think I'm going to use this brown. I wasn't, the, the green, I don't remember if it was patchy. You know what, I'm going to use the green on the lid because it's more of a lid space and I want to see how, um, if it's like the uh, Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath green, suck donkey balls on um, who has bigger balls? Elephant balls, maybe? Yeah. Them shits must be huge. The size of my head, probably. See, it's not very, um, I don't know. I always get some shit in the middle of the corner of my eye. Bella, for the love of God, stop. I hate that song. Licking. Ugh. No. I don't know. I think it's the, I think it's, it's just something to do with greens that, um. I need the brightest too, the shed. I don't know if you guys can tell, but. I don't know. I was expecting something different. But I should have put a base. Um, tomorrow I'll try a base. And it is fallout. I can feel it falling on my face. Alexa, what time is that? It's 9.51 a.m. Thank you, Alexa. Alexa, why doesn't my husband love me anymore? I'm sorry you're feeling that way. It may help to talk with someone you trust. I'm going to darken the outer corner with the brown. I'm so bored. I talk to Alexa sometimes. I'm so lonely. I don't get lonely, but you know, I talk to her. I love Alexa. Everyone complains about Alexa, but I love having her. I have like 12 of them. At least. So what I do, because my house is um, a little bit big. Um, what I do is I have like them connected to each other. So when I play music, it's like surround sound and I have them spread out through the house. There must be so much fucking, um, what do you call it? Like s signals going through my house. Radiation or whatever. Is it radiation? I'm not the smartest school in the shed. I should have paid attention in school. But no, I was too busy being a badass. I was such a, especially for school, I should, I, if I could turn time back, the clock, man, I would go to school and not even give a fuck about boys and learn. It's funny when you get to be like my age or even younger, I already started, um, but I'm 52. You start thinking about, God damn it, I, I wasted so much time. Time is so precious. We don't have that much time. So we're, we're here on an, uh, not a permanent visa. It's a temporary visa. And they all have expiration dates. We just can't see it. And... 
This is going from the Guatemala Guatepeor. Um, but anyway. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I was not a good kid in school. And I hardly ever went to school. I skipped school all the time. Started like in the fifth grade. I have a big blob of Oop, I didn't get it. I think I got it. I started like in the fifth grade being a badass. And that's it. I just wasted all that fucking time. And um I was always running the streets in Boston, Boston area, um, Mattapan, and I was in foster care. They used to put me in foster care, and I used to be run. I used to run from everywhere. I'd just fucking leave. I was unstoppable. Um, Mattapan, uh, fucking Cambridge, Somerville, Boston. Framingham, you name it, they put me. And uh, I was in uh, a boarding school in Baldwinville. Nobody knows what the, where the fuck Baldwinville is. I'm not sure if Baldwinville is in Massachusetts or New York, or what state it's in. It's like out in the fucking boonies. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a boarding school for girls. I was there too. I ran away from that bitch. The first time they got us, it was a bunch of us. <clears throat> the second time I made it out, me and another girl. Tell you, we're fucking badass. Ba I was such a bad kid. Um, mousy. Thought I knew everything. I'm sorry, Jesus. Please forgive me for all I did. Um. So yeah, that was me. But now, I'm thinking, I think about them. If I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I'll probably have maybe 30 more years if I'm lucky, right? Which I'm hoping for. Please, Jesus, keep me on that roster. That's not a long time. Flies by. My dad died. He was 52, but my age. He had a heart attack. <clears throat> my sister Paula, <clears throat> who died of cancer, she was 47. <clears throat> she died of ovarian cancer. Um, she was uh, three years younger than me. She's three years younger than me. <clears throat> my youngest sister, Susie, was murdered at age 23. She was... Lost her life very young. My niece, her daughter, Susie's daughter, got a brain tumor at the age of six and passed away at the age of seven. So you see, my peop some people don't have, like, when, when I hear someone complaining about, and then I also have two siblings that were born. Uh, my, my brother Mark died. My brother Mark Ballo died when he was six months. And my sister Amelia, Maria Amelia, she died when um, just a couple hours right after after birth. So we all have these time windows. Our time is our time is uh, marked. They say I don't know, but I don't know how true that is. But my point is like when people say, "Oh man, it sucks getting old." No, it's a blessing. You're lucky that you have the opportunity to grow. I know that it sucks, believe me. It sucks like looking at yourself and you have wrinkles, your face is falling, you know, you can't lose weight, your ass looks like uh, fucking the moon, the surface of the moon. <laughs> I get it, your thighs. When you used to be so good looking when you were young and your body was tight and all that. Not to be conceited or anything, but I was very good looking. Um, I was always thin. I, always, I was always conceited. I'm still conceited, so I'm sorry. 
I have very high self-esteem. Um, I don't think I'm better than anybody, but I do know that I looked really good. I think I still look good for my age, but that's my opinion. Anywho, back to being old. I think that my husband's always complaining about, oh, it sucks to be old. I'm like, babe, no, you should be grateful. He, um, he's a big dude, not fat big dude. He, um, he's muscular, wide. He goes to the gym a lot. <clears throat> A lot. He's obsessed with it. He's pushing his body. He goes to the gym so much that then his body hurts for like weeks. I tell him, you go in too hard. He does heavy lifting. <clears throat> but I'm always telling him, you know, you gotta accept your age. He's younger than I am. I always need a young buck to keep up with me. Not that much young, but he's three years younger than me. So... Funny, my, my first husband was also three years younger than me. And my first husband's name was Jose. And my second husband's name is Jose. But he goes by Joe. Crazy! And my oldest son's name is Jose. After his father. Jose Antonio. Yeah. I used to like when I was younger, we ne I never really thought about death. Death. Um, I wasn't really like surrounded by it. My grandma died when I was very young, but she, I was in uh, Massachusetts. We were living in Brockton when she passed away and she was living in California in my, with my uncle. Um, I always loved my grandma. <clears throat> she was such a... She was very good to me. I don't know. In real life, you know, how, how other people thought she was. I thought she was perfect. She was very sweet. She was always... I think I was like her favorite out of my mother's uh, t ten kids. You know, my mother had ten kids and she don't even like kids. It's funny. When we get together, there's a shitload of us. We don't actually ever get together anymore because, you know, almost half of us have passed. And there's a lot of my family, I don't know. We get together for weddings and funerals. Um, we're like, oh my God, we should do this together. No, I, I haven't seen two of my brothers are in California and I haven't seen them in 10 years. My mom got sick. I was in Florida. Um, I, I live in Florida. My older two son brothers live in California, and then the rest of my family is Massachusetts. And my mom got really sick, where we thought that she was going to pass um, a couple years ago. And we all gathered in Mass in um, in Massachusetts, at, in Providence, at the hospital in Rhode Island. And I hadn't seen my brothers in ten years. Because I moved here, they went. They went to California. Well, uh, they they went back to California because we're originally from California, and um, everyone's got their own lives. I don't want to go to California. I, I used to live there. I ain't missing shit. Um, I tell them all the time. One of my brothers came to Florida once. He loved it. He came to stay with me for a couple of days. He's actually been here twice at my house. Once with my mom and once uh, he came with some friends and um, he stayed here a day with me. And he loves it. Love it to the point that he was like, I'm moving to Florida to live with you. And I was like, no, you're not. No, you're not. He's an alcoholic. I can't deal with that shit. Where's my smudger? Right the fuck in front of my eyes. All right, so now I'm going to smudge out the top. I... Bella, what are you doing? And now I'm going to use the same green. Uh, so... Anyway, I think I was saying that um, when I was little, like, I never thought about death. 
I never really um, had lost anyone, you know, near and dear to me. Um, my worst, my father was, uh, it was a hit. It was hard. He was, I was 20 when he died. So it was definitely hard losing my dad. Um, I felt a lot of, um, guilt because, you know, that's what you feel when, uh, someone dies that you've neglected or whatever, uh, whatever the issue is. I'm not going to get into my family problems. There's so many. I'll be here for days, weeks, years. Um, that was hard, but by far the hardest one ever was my sister Susie. Yeah, she was so young and it was very violent. It was very violent. She was stabbed. I don't know if I guys told you guys, but there's a um episode on her murder discovery. Um, she was stabbed like sixty four times. And and um, set on fire. They found her because it was a fire. Nobody I know. It's probably some telemarker. I'm not dealing with them shit. So. Hey. There's so much glitter on my face. I don't know why I didn't even use glitter today. Is that from yesterday? I have so much glitter on my face. Anyway, I, don't, I ain't gonna be talking to no Jehovah Witnesses or someone on a scooter selling solar panels. It's always somebody. I'm sorry, my dogs are just very vicious. They wanna attack that person. Hold on a second. I don't know. Just went to check the door because it was still barking, but there's nobody there. Anyway, I have glitter all over my face. But anyway, mm, that's about my eye done. Um, I like it. Now I'm do my eyebrows. Hey, can you guys be quiet? That'd be nice. I didn't see anybody, so... Hey, 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 Bella. No, not, not necessary. She's so violent. She's such a douchebag, this dog. My husband says because I spoiled too much. I spoiled her too much. I don't think I spoil her, but I love her the most. I don't want reward her bad behavior, though. We're not putting up with none of that bullshit. My husband wanted to breed her. I don't want to. I don't want her to have to suffer. These dogs have to be artificially inseminated. Have cesareans. She's very tiny. Um, if I was to stu to get um, let her have a litter, um, I, w I would want a very small dog as well. And I'll probably keep them all. I have a fucking shitload of fucking Frenchies running around my house, eating and shitting and pissing everywhere. Right, Stella, fat ass? Come here, Tash. Come here, Tash. She's like, who the fuck are you talking to? Like, Mama's crazy. My eyebrow. Mm, there's no eyebrow color here. I 
knew that yesterday. Let me see this naked palette if it does. What did I use yesterday? I think I used something for the Viseart palette. So that's what we're going to do today. If you have these. I don't know if it's called Viseart or Viseart. These pants feel like they're loose. I absolutely love this color story, which so many haven't. But every time I, I'm like, I have to have that one too. It's like exactly the same thing. I'm going to use the slightest color. Again, I think that's what I used yesterday. Bella, what are you doing? She's giving hell out of that. She'll like fight her and then give her a bath. But I'm starting to think that Ella, the black one, she's the one that starts a lot of the bullshit. Cruella. Cruella. And I'm just going to blend this out with my first Push it out, push it out, push it out. I'm going to use some, gonna use some of that yellow. Dip into the yellow a tad bit just to get something here to Blend these out. Mm, it's coming down a lot. Okay. Ella, what are you doing? Get your little ass over here. Ella. Ella, what are you doing? Thank God today is Thursday. It's my Friday. Tomorrow I gotta dedicate time to my garden. It's, I mean, not my garden. My backyard is. Oh God, I have no words. There's so many weeds. Grass is overgrown. I gotta clean this shit up. I canceled the, um, the gardener. Um, because I was paying the grass, but it just wasn't growing. I got tired of paying eighty dollars a month, month after month after month after month for like three months. Because and it, they didn't, they came, but they didn't need to do anything. I understand they used fuel and stuff, but at one point I just, I just emailed them and said, "Hey, I need to stop free service for a little while. My grass is not growing and." Uh, and my husband's doing that gazebo in the back. That's going to be a project that's going to last for years. He's put the gazebo up pretty fast. And now he's got to um, like do concrete 
on the pillars, like on the, what do you call them? On the beams, not the beams, the, the ones that go up and down. Four beams, I guess. On the frame. <laughs> he wants to, um, on the columns, is that what it is? He's gonna reinforce them, so, you know, concrete base. He's supposed to do that this time around when he's home. No, no, I think my husband thinks we won the lottery because um, he's he's like I'm gonna fix my bike. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on a fishing trip. It's gonna cost two hundred dollars to go on a fishing trip. So his brother invited him for a fishing trip. I guess he was like I planned a fishing trip. It's all taken care of. Um, my son was gonna go. It was supposed to be him, his son, uh, his son's stepdad because they hang out together. I don't, I don't understand that. And then. Um, my, his nephew. So they were all supposed to go all four of them. And then everybody backed out. And he calls my husband. He's like, are you going to be home for the Sunday? You want to go with me? It's already taking us. It cost me $200, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, my, so my husband talked to me about it. I was like, yeah, go, you know. Maybe catch some fish. We can do a fish fry. Thought it was free. Then yesterday my husband calls me and he's like, oh, I talked to Serge. And, um, it's going to cost $200. I was like... You know you're asking to catch no damn fish, so why don't we just take the $200 and go to the fucking fish store and go buy fish, because you ain't going to catch no damn fish. I know. My father's a fisherman. I hope my husband's not a fisherman. I might be over here um, after be saying, oh yeah, my husband caught all this fish. But I highly doubt it. Hmm. I'm trying to talk him out of it. I was like, no, fuck that. But he wants to go, so whatever. Let's spend time with your brother. Oh, that goes right next to it. So. Then he wants to go buy a truck, spending way too, way more money than I am wanted to. For the longest time, he was obsessed with trying, wanting to buy a Corvette. Now, Corvettes are... They're so expensive. It's like... What are you going to get a Corvette for? More pendeja. So when he gets home next week, he wants us to go look at this truck in Orlando that he's, that he's interested in. I actually planted that seed. I wanted it. You know, ladies, if you want something from your husband, you tell him and he's going to tell you no. No, 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 no. He's like mine. No, no, we ain't, we ain't doing that. I've always told him, I want a four, if I remember, we were going to buy a truck, I want a badass truck. I want a 450. Because I want to look like a bad bitch driving it, right? And um, he used to be, we always used to joke around what he would say. Oh, I'm going to get a Corvette. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm going to get a 450. And I'm going to go around and drag your ass home when you're out there. <clears throat> After the fool, I'm just going to fucking tie you to the back of the truck. Haul your ass home. i make fun of him, whatever. But um, I used to always tell, and he used to be like, no, we, that's too big. You can't drive that. You, we don't need that. No, we're not going to get that. Now he's obsessed with the 450. Huh? I don't know. I just planned to see. Wait. I told him the other day. You remember I told you I wanted a 450, right? 
And he's the kind of person that looks and looks and looks. He does a lot of research. He does. I don't know if it's called research. Alexa, what time is it? It's 10, 19 a.m. I don't know if the research is the right word. I'm trying to get some of this glitter off my face, but... But um, he does. He he looks a lot. For a lot. He was interested in, in in one that was had pretty low mileage, and it was pretty good price for the mileage. I thousand 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 love you, Rogers. And um, here she is, a little bitch. Here's the little bitch. Hi, everybody. I wish I got it. Don't I wish I got it? And here's the other one. Ah, Bella, don't be. See, she tried to go, jump at. Come here, Bella. Here's Ella. She's punking Ella because I picked her up. So Ella's gonna look real scared. Look at Ella. Hi, Bella. And she's so long. Let me see if I can grab Bella. Stella. Give me a fat ass. Oh my gosh, she's so big. Ooh, this is the big hunk of dunk Stella. I mean, yeah. Dash. Shut no, no, shut up, fat. See how Bella stop it. She's a little McFatty. Look at that. Oh, get out of here. Finally made an appearance. You finally made an appearance, you fat ass. I got hair all over myself. Yeah. Bella, be nice. She's still here. Let me see. She. Say hi. Say hi to people. Oh, so cute. Oh, okay. All right, all right, psycho. See, that's how she gets when I give her attention. All right, get out of here. Move. Move, get out the way. Ella, please. Psycho ass. Get, you don't know when to stop. Get to getting. That's what I tell her. When I want to get away from her. I'm stupid ass. Anyways. Bella. Bella. Come to your mom. You want to be jealous? She, she don't want her up here. Hey, cut it out. And I'm just using my Morphe. Um, it's a contour thing, I think. What's it called? Contour palette. Highlight contour palette. Illuminator. What the shit? I got this in one of the subscriptions. Highlight, contour palette, palette, illuminator, contours. Oh, this is in Francais. Palette, illuminator, contour. I'm, I'm using this brown here. I don't know if this matches my color. I'm kind of into like powder foundation now. This is, I use this like a foundation. Um, I have some black on my nose. And that there, I'm going to wait until it. Um, dries and then take it off with a cotton swab. Anyway, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that for us older ladies, um, powder is better than or settle less into the crease, I think. Less volume on our aging skin. What think you? Advise. So that I'm just using this as an all over. And before I come in here to do my makeup, I do um, wash my face and prep my face with my with my um, routine. My I use um, moisturizer. I use um, hyaluronic acid, and I use like a rose oil serum type of thing. I don't have delicate skin, so I pretty much can use whatever on my face. But I do use a lot of products on my face. Um, cleaning products. And, um... Like maintenance stuff. Not, not like makeup. The only thing I use on my face on makeup is the, is this routine that I do here. I just don't like 
I haven't tried it in a while, but I just don't like the liquid foundation the way it, it looks. It makes me look older. I don't need help with that. That looks got her butt up against me. Let me tell everybody. Y'all know, I sit next to Mama. She's very possessive. She wants to be number uno. It's una cabrona. I think I overdid it on here. Oh, shit. Let's see. We gotta... Now we gotta blend. Oh yeah, it looks rough right here. Yeah, she's very possessive of... And the other two is scared of her. Even big old fat Bella. Stella, I mean. And I always make up their names. She just gives them the side eye. I mean, Stella can kick her ass if she wants to. When she has enough of her, she'll like, let her know. I mean, bitch, back the fuck up. I will fucking kill you, right, Bella? Stella, you tell, you tell her? You little short shit, right? She can move faster than you. But. The, the friction, the friction starter, the fr the frictioner is the little one. She's so, now, she, she, all this time she's been threatening Ella and now she's like washing her face. I wonder like when you have a pet, do they, re somehow something happen that they resemble your personality? Is that possible? Plus she is kind of a lot like me. I'm, a, I'm dominant, too. What do you guys think? Because every animal I get seems to be like, ha have an attitude. Is that because they get it off of my, they get vibes from me? I wonder. And so by darkening the side of your neck, you create an illusion of a narrower neck. And then you chisel this. You guys see my creases? Oh, I'm so sad. I don't have it on this side. I don't have it on this side. And I'll take some of the lighter one and just... This is, a, uh, I think, an a, uh, intimidate, uh, a dupe for the Kat Von D one, which I, I am ordering. Anybody have a Kat Von, a Kat Von D face palette? What do you think of it? Please let me know. Let me darken the side of my nose. And, um, all right, now I'm going to do some highlighting. And I'm going to go down my nose, tip of my nose. Is this the Cupid's arrow or is this the Cupid's arrow? Alexa, where's the Cupid's arrow located on the human body? From Cornell.edu, Cupid's arrow retained in the heart. I know it says keep it down. Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it?
love Bella. Love it, love it, Bella. Oh, she's leaving. Come on, Ella. Come here. Ella, come up here. Come on. Little bitch, fucking you. And then I'm gonna use my... I just love her to death. I think she's so beautiful. I can't help it. I want to eat her. That's how much I love her. I'm going to eat you, Bella. Put you in my stomach. And I didn't mean it in a sexual way, so please don't. She just got off her third, I think third heat or second. Might be second. I'm not sure. I think it's second heat. Oh. I hate that shit. I do um, have diapers for them, but... I only put them on at night because sometimes they poop in them and pee. It just makes more of a mess. Hey, look at my stuff. Gracias. So, <clears throat> I only have a little bit of eyeliners. That was a joke. A shitload of eyeliners. I wish I had full of lips. These smell so good, it's not chocolate. But I find that they get flaky. Anybody else?
That's kind of too dark, so I'm going to soften it up with a lighter, a lighter one. I think I got all the chocolates, I think. What are you looking for? Huh? That might still be a little bit to work. So I have a lighter one. See, like I got the, the colors. When I was younger, in my 20s, 30s even, I love the pinks and the purples. I used to love those colors. By uh, lavender colors. I still have a lot of them at this in this in this age, but I don't know. Like I feel like they don't match my 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 complexion or my face or what, whatever whatever it is. I still got a little picture of Alexa, what time is it? I'm obsessed with time. The time is 10.37 a.m. One day she's going to be like, bitch, buy a watch. How many times did I tell you what time it is? Hmm. I'm separating my makeup by jewel, by jewel so I can do an updated palette. That one was a Revolution one. Revolution is probably the one that I have most palettes on. <laughs> it's Revolution. I love makeup. I love makeup. I have makeup stuff. And now some other shit. I think I need to darken my, um, you want to come up here over here? Bella told you to get, get out, right? Bella, did you tell her to get out? Yeah? Bella, you being a bad girl? Are you being a bad girl, Bella? No. Bella, what are you doing? And I'm gonna put some highlighter on my face. Where's my highlighter brush? Right here. On my cheeks. So I have decided I'm going to let my hair, my grays grow out. But I don't know, I'm thinking about dying there when my husband comes home so I can look. The best I can do for him. I like to look good for my husband when he comes home. Look put together. Although I really don't wear makeup when he comes home because when he's like, get up, we're going somewhere. Um, I need like an hour to do put my face on. I don't just get up and run out the door. If you want me to look cute, that ain't gonna happen. So, I always like, look how I got ran over um, by his truck on his way home. Oh, he goes somewhere. If I'm wearing really comfortable clothes, he's like, it looks like pajamas. You want me to look cute? You gotta give me time, boo boo, alright? So, now I'm gonna go fix my hair, because I usually fix my hair um, before I do my makeup. But I'm gonna go do my hair. I think I'm gonna wear something like this. This is like how I woke up. I don't know. I came home yesterday, I put my hair up in a, in a ponytail, and this is um, still that ponytail. I have to say, I think I look kind of cute just rolling out of bed. But um, if I could just have a mini me or someone, like a little midget. Um, I know people don't like, like midget, but that's how I talk, so um, little person. 
in my bed at night putting my face on so I could get up in the morning and be fabulous. That would be great. Um, but um, I like it. I love this palette. And uh, I love the greens. I never used to do smoky eye, but I really like it. Tell me what you think. Do you love your palette? Do you have it? Do you want it? If you don't have it, get it if you can. Um, it's not for everybody because of the price, but there are some dupes. Um, I think. I haven't found any cheap ones, though. But, um, Bella sleeping like a pretty person. Like a pretty princess. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go get dressed now, and then it's time to go to work. So I'll see you guys on Monday, because tomorrow I probably will not make a video. I only make videos when I go to work. Thank you. Share, like, subscribe. I love you guys and have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget about my giveaway. 500 subscribers. Which will probably be in 2055 because at the rate I'm going, I'm not picking up anybody. Love you. See you. Adios.